Thank you, Mayor Wilson, and good afternoon to everyone. On behalf of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and the Biden-Harris administration, I am pleased to speak to you as part of the Virginia Transit Association annual meeting. Let me first send a special hello to Governor Northam. We really appreciate the governor's support of transit systems throughout the state, which are so important to keeping Virginians moving. I would also like to recognize FTA Region 3 Administrator Terry Garcia Cruz and her team for their excellent work leading our federal transit program in Virginia. President Biden and Secretary Buttigieg believe that an investment in transportation infrastructure creates jobs. It grows the economy and stems the climate crises sustainably and equitably. Public transportation delivers on all of these goals. And as a nation, there is much more we can do to close the gaps in service and access for all the people in our communities. I am happy to join you to speak about federal transportation policy and support for transit projects in Virginia. This is truly a pivotal time for our nation's public transportation systems. Over the next days, Congress will debate and vote on the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that was passed by the Senate last month. This legislation includes $550 billion in new federal investment in America's infrastructure. This level of investment is important because the transit industry will receive almost $90 billion in guaranteed funding, and that will be the most significant federal support for transit in our nation's history. That proposed funding is not just an abstract number. It will improve people's lives throughout the nation, including Virginia, by providing additional federal funding to support strategic transit expansion and to improve the state of good repair of transit assets. We have a once in a generation opportunity to make smart investments in our nation's transit infrastructure and address climate change. The infrastructure bill includes support for transit agencies to invest in no emission vehicles and training for transit workers to maintain and operate those vehicles. So as we continue to switch from fossil fuels to electric or hydrogen-based energy sources, we will reduce the greenhouse gas emissions that play such a big role in our planet's rising temperatures. Of course, we see the impacts of climate change everywhere. Most recently, we experienced the devastating loss of life and damage from Hurricane Ida. We all saw pictures of stranded Louisiana residents, gushing geysers in New York City subway, highways turned into rivers, and floating buses. FTA is committed to leading efforts to combat climate change by ensuring our communities have the fiscal and technical resources to convert to greener transit fleets. We also want to ensure our transit partners can protect their workforces and transit assets and reduce the disproportionate impacts of climate change on disadvantaged and minority groups. In June, FDA launched the Sustainable Transit for a Healthy Planet Challenge. This initiative encourages transit agencies to develop climate action plans and make strategic investments to support President Biden's goal of achieving a 50% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. I commend Petersburg Area Transit for signing up for the challenge and committing to develop a climate action strategy. We will make a difference if we continue to work together. Community leaders and transit agency general managers have the opportunity to lead when it comes to combating climate change and developing resiliency. And I encourage all of you to consider how strategic investments can play a role. For example, Blacksburg Transit received an FTA low or no emission grant last June to purchase battery electric buses and charging equipment. The project furthers Blacksburg Transit's goal to replace older diesel vehicles and become 100% battery electric by 2032. Hampton Roads Transit is also working to reduce its carbon footprint. With a low no grant from 2018, the agency purchased six zero emission buses to run on Route 20, its busiest route. Hampton Roads Transit estimates it's saving 1.3 million pounds of carbon dioxide emissions every year. I want to let you know how I greatly appreciate the steadfast commitment transit agencies across the country have made during the last year and a half. It has been a challenging time. Transit workers have been on the front lines. Some have been sick, some have lost lives, but overall, the transit workforce showed up and supported everyone who needed a ride. We appreciate that Governor Northam and Transportation Secretary Valentine established Virginia's Transit Ridership Incentive Program. 
the $40 million program is sending much needed post-pandemic support to transit agencies across the state, including backing fare-free initiatives, which help boost ridership and encourage low-income Virginians to get on board. For example, Alexandria's Dash Bus implemented a fare-free initiative with support from the Ridership Incentive Program. Combined with a bus network redesign, DASH is looking to meet the evolving needs of riders as well as provide an open door for everyone. The Greater Richmond Transit Company, GRTC, has also committed to stay fare-free until next June. GRTC has maintained ridership at about 80% of 2019 levels, part of the agency's focus on making transit service better and more equitable for essential workers, who are among the most regular riders. Harrisonburg and Winchester's transit systems also will remain fare free. For all who are looking to expand and improve service, we are so pleased federal relief funding is available to support your efforts as transit agencies recover from the pandemic and work to renew ridership. The pandemic has posed so many challenges, but has also presented a path forward to better future if we invest in transportation systems that help everyone get where they need to go. I'm optimistic that together we can work to meet President Biden's goals to build back better. Thank you again for inviting me to speak today and best wishes for your bright future.